just going to do the lung. This is the third part of lab three. This will be a very short take. So here's the left lung. And when it was in this cat, it was arranged like this. So we had a cranial lobe, a middle lobe, and a caudal lobe of the lung. And if we look right here, we can see a tube coming out of it, and it has two openings. And so this is a tube that will eventually form three secondary bronchi. This is a secondary bronchus here going to the cranial lobe, and then this is going to bifurcate. Oh, no, I'll take it back. This one that's going to the cranial lobe is going to bifurcate. You can see that there are two pieces to it. One goes to the middle lobe and one goes to the cranial lobe. Those are two secondary bronchi. And then this is a secondary bronchus going down to the caudal lobe. I'm going to try to open this up for you so you can see inside. And perhaps we'll get enough detail. You can see inside there are little openings running off of this bronchus. And those are bronchi going out into the lung itself. So cranial lobe, middle lobe, caudal lobe with the left lung, secondary bronchus. And in a human, there would only be two lobes on the left and three lobes on the right. And in a cat, there are three lobes on the left and four on the right. And that's the 